Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking another look at iDisposable. And specifically, we're going to be learning about the using keyword. Now, you learned in the last tutorial that you can create objects and dispose of them once you're finished with them by implementing iDisposable inside of your class. Now, what you can also do is use the using keyword so that the program will automatically dispose of that object once it's done doing what it needs to do. So to create a little example of this, let's go ahead and go into do stuff and add a couple more subs. So public sub, um, let's see, show more messages, and we'll just type message box, uh, this is a message and we can go ahead and copy that a couple more times. Okay, so now we'll come back into form1.vb and we will delete all of this code that we have right here. And what we can do instead of uh, creating a new object by using the dim keyword, we can go ahead and type using. And you can see that the description says a using block does three things. It creates and initializes variables in the resource list. It runs the code in the block and it disposes of the variables before exiting. So it pretty much just does what it needs to do and then gets rid of everything after it's done. So let's go ahead and set a name for the object of do stuff that uh, we want. So let's just call this one my do stuff as, and then we're going to use the new keyword. So we, we actually create an object in the using block. So as new do stuff. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter. And you can see that it adds the end using for us. So we can type my do stuff dot show message. And then we can go ahead and run this. And you can see that when we click show message, it says this is a message. And then once we click OK, it'll tell, it'll, the compiler will know, uh, or your program will know, that it is done using my do stuff and it will get rid of it. So we can also add uh, more code in here. So my do stuff dot show more messages. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that once it's done showing more messages and then showing a message, it's going to go ahead and get rid of our object for us. So we click show message, it'll say this is a message, and then this should be the last one. We click OK, and it gets rid of our object for us. But if you notice that if we try to access, access my do stuff outside of our using block, we're going to get an error. Now, this is an example of scope. And what scope is, is if you remember from one of the previous tutorials, is that wherever you de define your variable, that's the only place it can be used. So if I define a variable inside here uh, as string, uh, if I try to access that outside of this sub right here, I'm going to get an error because it is only allowed to be used inside of this sub right here. And the same applies for the using block whatever you are using right here can only be accessed inside of the using block and then um, once it's done with it it gets rid of it and you cannot access it anymore so go ahead you can practice using the uh, using keyword uh, you can even maybe go back to some of the previous programs that we've made and find some places that you can sort of put that in there to make the code a little bit more efficient and then once you do that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and um, we will be learning more about iDisposable. So thanks for watching.